Hello and welcome to KMTV, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Wednesday, July the 1st. A health alert for Kent has been upgraded to level 3 with temperatures set to hit the mid-30s today. It's the second highest national alert for heatwave conditions and we're being warned to stay indoors between 11 and 3. But it seems some men have already been enjoying the heat in Chatham. However, when is it alright to go topless in public? Graham Stothard went to find out. It's official. It's a heatwave. Temperatures are hitting above 30 degrees and that means only one thing summer gear. But some people aren't as tasteful as myself and a hot day in Britain inevitably leads to topless men, their bare chests gleaming in the midday sun. On a beach, okay, but on a high street and we're not so sure. We walked through Chatham to see how many people were topping up their tan. In the end, it was only three. Not too bad, we thought. But how do other shoppers feel about bare chests? If it's okay for men to do it, why isn't it okay for women to do it? Not like in the bras. I know bikinis kind of the same aspect of bras, but if it's okay for them, why isn't it okay for us? If it's boiling hot, just let them. Just let them. It's a beautiful day. Let them get the sunshine. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I just think it's unreasonable, to be honest. Uh, if they want to do something like that, uh, you know, at least they can make an effort, you know, buff up, train up or do, or do something to that effect. So some mixed thoughts there then. But regardless of people's opinions, a high street without pasty torsos is a paradise most of us will never be lucky enough to experience. This is Graham Stoffard, KMTV in Chatham. Emergency supplies of food and water have been delivered to lorry drivers waiting in Kent to cross the channel. A strike by French ferry workers means the port of Calais is still closed and part of the M20 motorway is being used as a lorry park in both directions. It's the second week running that operation stack has been put in place and people affected in Dover say something needs to be done. It's happening too often and nothing, well, not a lot's being done. I don't know what's being done, but we're not seeing anything. Around those roundabouts, it's nothing but lorries and on those by roads going off. It's unpleasant for the lorry drivers, it's unpleasant for the farmers and the people of the highways, I'm sure. It is. It's all a terrible mess. We don't hear much about it because they're always doing it. No, never enough, never enough. But uh, there we are. What can you do? In other news, an 86-year-old man died after the motorbike he was riding hit a lamppost near Swanley. It happened on the A20 in Farningham just after 8 last night. Police investigating reports a person tried to snatch a child in Maidstone have arrested a woman. Officers and ambulance staff were called to Broadway at about 6 last night after a man claimed someone tried to take his young son. And local politicians and campaigners say they're delighted after the airport's commission suggested Heathrow was the best option for a new runway in the southeast rather than Gatwick. And finally, what could be the most expensive student flats ever are now available to rent in Canterbury and they'll set you back up to £1,000 a month. Graham Stothard reports. From the outside, number 29 St George's Place in Canterbury looks to be quite normal. Inside, though, it's a different matter. Go downstairs, for example. You'll be met with what the developer calls urban basement. Their newest addition is Hollywood Glamour. Purpose built for students, the £10,000 a year they'll cost to rent may make them the most expensive student flats in the country. Now it goes without saying that this is far too expensive for most people, let alone students, but that doesn't bother the developer because he's got a very specific market in mind. Um, it's probably going to cost twice as much as the average house share, but of course it is en suite, it is air conditioned, it is uh, yeah, Antico flooring or whatever it is that you want to add to it. Uh, the money is not relevant. We have had no problems renting the accommodation. People you know, are prepared to pay for something that's different or something that's particularly good. There are similar priced properties on the market, but most have two or even three bedrooms. But if money is no object, then who's paying? Well, that's obvious. 
It's invariably parents. Uh, they will fund it. They may pay uh, in one hit for the whole year. And the average cost is going to be between 10 and 10 and a half thousand pounds for the year per bedroom. This is Graham Stothard, Cam TV in Canterbury. There's more local news on KMFM and you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. But that's it from KMTV.